Hello everybody. Today we'll be demonstrating our three Trojan designs for the hardware security and trusted circuit design class. To begin, we will demonstrate our first Trojan we've termed SOS, which is triggered by entering a known string in Morse code to the FPGA, allowing us to trigger leaking the key to the screen. Next, we will demonstrate our keygen Trojan, which will leak the key to the LEDs on the Digilent board. And then finally, we will demonstrate that we are able to leak the key over a single pin on the PMOD connector. So first, let's go ahead and start with the SOS Trojan. So we will load the bit file. <coughs> And we will enter the programming mode here. So we have the sequence uh, key in Morse code. So we just uh, enter that in using the spacebar. Um, because we don't have an actual um, keying device, we simulate a dash with three spaces and dot with one space with a specific timing in between. So let's go ahead and do it. Well, as you can see, I'm not the best Morse code person, but let's go ahead and give it another shot. As you can now see, the master key, or the key in, has been leaked to the screen for everyone to see, and the device is no longer operational and has to be reset. So for our second design, we will demonstrate the, the Keygen Trojan, which will enable the key to be leaked in a more interesting way over the LEDs in the digital board. So enter the mode, and it's just to prove that we can you know, use the device normally, but then when the secret sequence is uh, entered through the spacebar, we can then enable the Trojan. So let's do, go ahead and enter it again. And as you now see on the Digilent board, we have the keys scrolling by with each LED representing one bit in a shift register that is constantly scrolling. This is a bit slow, and if we were an attacker, we would probably need to be here for a little bit too long to get the key, so we enabled a function to speed up the scrolling. Now finally, our final and simplest Trojan is to leak the key over one of the PMOD connectors. So we'll go ahead and plug this into our oscilloscope here. And we will use the same trigger and we will see the output on the screen, the oscilloscope here. So let's go ahead and uh, noise here and then let's enter our trigger. And of course As we can now see on the oscilloscope, we are leaking the key over the PMOD connector. So we would not have to need to be physically here if this signal was exported in a certain way. And we can speed this up on the oscilloscope as well if we don't have all day to read it. So this is similar to our Keygen Trojan, but um, it's a little bit simpler. Um, as you can see, the, just as a bonus, we've left the LED display in as well just so you can choose what you want to use. Well, I hope you enjoyed um, our three Trojan designs. Uh, see you next time.